How is it going guys? Slippery Jim here. Welcome back to my intergalactic adventure series here in modded Minecraft. And in the last episode, we uh, got back from fighting the Mars dungeon boss. So that was pretty cool. We got a new schematic as well, the cargo rocket schematic. So I'm um, pretty happy with that. Now this episode, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing two things. I'm going to be setting up uh, a solar array so that we can hopefully get some extra energy production going that we can generate right here on Mars instead of relying on it all coming from our uh, energy plant back on Earth. So we're going to set that up somewhere fairly close to the base. I was thinking over in that area over there because it's going to be getting more sunlight. Over here is not too bad either actually. I don't know if that's a big enough area right there but I guess we could set it up there, but this is this is higher up here, so maybe we'll set it um, set it up over here. But this could take a while because I'm gonna be uh, making like a ton of um, solar arrays, even more than on Mars. So what I might do is I might either cut out part of this, uh, setting it all up, or I might fast forward some of it or something like that, because we're gonna have to like level this area out here and stuff like that. Um, a lot of repetitive work. But uh, sometimes that's what you gotta do when you're exploring um, the solar system and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I'll level this out and then I'll start putting down a few um, a few of the uh, solar panels and stuff like that. We should have a bunch of those. Um, we should have, a look at all these meteorites here. <laughs> it's a shame that they're not dash meteorites because I don't really need I don't really need this meteoric iron so much at the moment. I guess there's a few extra things we could build. But uh, yeah, let's head back and see how many solar panels and stuff like that that we have. I think that's as good a spot as any right there. So we'll probably feed it into our power production. Um, yeah, I'll work out where we're going to have the line. A bit later when we've set up the plants, that's going to be the easiest part of it, or the um, the solar panels and the energy storage modules. So I think I've got them in here. Let's have a look here. Six. Maybe I put them in one of these chests. Here we go. 45. 45 of these. So back on Earth, the ratio that seemed to work. Now Earth works a little bit differently. Apparently in space, these are supposed to generate a little bit more energy, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that would be, but um, on Earth I have around about three to one energy storage. So I'm thinking maybe two to one, and we've got all these energy storage modules right here. So we'll grab those. Let's see. So two to one means I would have forty-five, about twenty-three. Actually, I've got some extras, don't I? Let's just have a look at that. Solar. How many is that? 50. Let's make it an even 50 and then we'll have 25. 25 of these things. It's not very many, but we'll see how we go with that and we can always add more later on. And I'm also going to need some cabling. There's tons of this stuff. Heavy aluminium wire. Let's put some of this ammo away for now. So it's not fully up to storage. Okay, what else will we need? That's oxygen pipes. That's probably all we'll need to get started with. I'll take that. Um, a bit of extra food's always good. And let's chuck that in there. Okay, so, so I don't really need the water bucket, do I? Uh, anyway, so that's the first thing that I'm going to be doing. I forgot to continue the explanation of what was happening this episode. But I'm also going to be heading back to the um, that huge cavern where, where those sludgelings were and stuff like that. What is this over here? What is... What is that? Weird. Landing balloons, huh? Okay, that must be a bug. Anyway, let's get rid of that. But um, 
Yeah, so let's get started with setting these up. So the other thing I'm going to be doing is heading to the Sludgling Cavern. And uh, we're going to be trying to get some vines. Because one thing that I um, uh, found out with a bit of research is that you can collect those vines that were hanging down in that cavern that glow in the dark and stuff like that um, by using some old-fashioned shears. So I couldn't collect them with this thing, even with Silk Touch enabled. So... Um, Apparently that's the way you do it. You just make some regular, some regular shears, and uh, that allows you to collect them. Because I thought we would make some and take some back to Earth. I think that would look pretty cool um, as a decoration around uh, maybe my garden area. All right, guys, I am back, and I basically just cleared this area here and filled in some parts of it here, so that we can uh, put these solar arrays down um, directly in line with this part of the habitation. So uh, let's get that done now. I might actually elevate these a little bit so that they get, they catch more of the sunlight um, throughout the day here. And I have actually um, used the cryogenic chamber to sleep through the night. So this is actually daytime here on Mars, <laughs> in case you didn't know. But yeah, we're gonna have um, two bags of 25. So this is the center right here. Let's just put that there so I know where it is, and we'll start them off like maybe three in there, and then one. Let's go about there. That's the center. Is that right? That's that's symmetrical. Good. Now these are three wide, I think, actually. So I might need to go a little bit further across than that. Come to think of it. That's two, we'll put one there. So yeah, we'll have um, two bags of 25 and then a central area here. Um, so if we just test this out, let's, I might go actually go two blocks high there like that. And uh, stick one of these on the top like that. So that's high enough that we can walk underneath that anyway. Even if it's um even if it's vertical, so I think that that'll be fine. And then we will have so we'll have a row of five. Let's see, so that we'll go to that is there, and then one there, and then like that. So there's three in the middle, two, three, one there. How many is that? That's that's four, and then, then we'll have one here. So yeah, that, that looks like it's fairly central. I want it to look symmetrical and, and, uh, and good as well. So as I usually do with all my buildings that I make in Minecraft. So we'll just um, screw that one up. We'll just um, put down the positions where these are all gonna go and then I'll place them all and we'll hook them all up and stuff like that. So. We need three spaces in between, don't we? Two, three, and then one there. One, two, three, four, five just fits there. So yeah, that'll be how wide it goes. I don't know if this is gonna be enough, but we'll see how we go. I don't have a lot of confidence in the um, ability <laughs> of these things to generate enough power for everything, but let's just fill this in a little bit here. Like that. Fix that up. Three there. This is stuff. Mars surface rock. I think that's okay. So one, two, three, four, and then we need one more here. And then this will come along here like this. Five across here, etc., etc., etc. So that's the basic outline of the area that it's going to be in. I think that'll look okay. All right, so I can get rid of this. Actually, probably want to 
I probably want to remember where the center is. All right, so let's start placing these. Like so. This could take a while, guys. So I'll be back uh, when I'm done with this part of the, uh, the build. All right, guys, I am back and I have placed all of the solar panels that I'm going to want uh, in the array here. So I just have to hook them up with cables to our power system here. And I'm also going to be putting down some of these lamps so we can see what's going on. Let's just put a couple here and around the edges, I guess. All right, guys, we are back and I've set up all of the uh, wiring to the solar panels here. So uh, now we should be able to hook up uh, some energy storage modules in the base and have all the power from these uh, feeding into that and then going to our, all of our machines and stuff like that. So as you can see, it is daytime. These things are collecting energy. It looks like they're collecting it fairly quickly as well, which is pretty cool. So uh, there's a cable that these are all connected to that runs through the middle here and up into my base. So let's go around and just set up these energy storage modules and that should be the last part of uh, getting this done. All right, guys, I am back and I've set up the, uh, the uh, our storage modules here. <clears throat> all right, guys, I'm back and I have hooked up all of the energy storage modules here with the power. Um, power cables, they're all hooked up to the solar ar array uh, at the back here. And they seem like they're getting a fair bit of energy, so um, that's pretty cool. So hopefully they will supplement these, um, these resonant energy cells that I've got hooked up. I might just actually hook those up again because I did disconnect them so that they could charge. Now that we've got the other system in place, it's going to be very interesting. These these are still gaining power. Um, these should be filling up as well. Um, so that's losing energy. So th these are these are filling up over here. But it will be interesting to see when it stabilizes. Uh, how the energy situation goes, but that's um that's the setup basically that I will um I'll go with for the time being. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I think we have I can't remember how many we set up on the moon, but it, I think it was less than this actually. But um we'll see how this one goes. And uh, that should generate a fair bit of energy for us anyway. Let's just move this. Actually, no, that's in line with that one. Cool. All right. So the other thing that I wanted to get done in this episode is I wanted to go to the underground cavern that we found and try and get some of the uh, some of those um, those vine things. So I might just chuck out some of these blocks that I've picked up. Let's just whack these in here. Get rid of all of these. Uh, I've got the energy, t the uh, oxygen tanks and stuff like that. So um, the gravity tool we'll put over here. I don't know where I got that torch from. Put the spare in there. I'll probably need a bit more of these, a few more of these batteries because we'll probably run into a few uh, monsters and stuff like that. I haven't got that many there. Get my Tesla gun ready. We get rid of the builder's wand. Got some extra glowstone torches. This needs charging, so I'll just charge that quickly. Uh, we've got the tanks. What else might we need? Well, oh, that's where my spare batteries are. That's, I'll take a fair few of them because. You never know. Have I got food? Yes, I do. Okay, this should be recharged now. Okay, I think we're ready to go. 
So what I've done is I've put the uh, coordinates in the mini map here for the cavern. So we should be able to get there with a minimum of fast. Let's just see how much fuel is in here. Let's uh, F. Oh, it's pretty much full. Buggy fuel tank. Cool. All right. So let's go. Let's do this. Hopefully, uh, we're going to stay away from the creepers and stuff like that because I don't want to get my buggy blown up again. Sort of in this direction. Four ninety one seven eight. It's it's actually right here. Okay. Apparently, it's right here. If this is correct, which it might not be, let's put another waypoint down for the buggy. Okay, so it should be a waypoint here. And now we're going to dig straight down again. And if this isn't the right place, then I give up. So, whoa. Okay, we're going to go straight down though. Okay, how deep are we? 52. So basically, let's just see what's down here. Okay, come on, please be the cavern down here. Yes! Oh, alright. Let's just be careful here, let's not go too crazy. So, I want to jump down. Let's see. There we go. We're down. These are the things right here. See? These these vines actually, um, they lift you up. Like, they'll catch things and then drag them up to the ceiling and, like, do damage to them. It's pretty cool. But they also look good as, for illumination and stuff like that. So I thought we would get some. If we can collect these. Nice. Cavernous vines. Let's get a bunch of these. Man, this is a pretty creepy place down here. Grab all of that, come on. Come to Papa. Pick all of that up. I'm curious to see what actually happens when they get you to the top of the um to the top of the vine. Stay back, creeper. Let's just see what happens. I'll pick one that's not... That's not above the sludge stuff. This one here will probably be okay. Alright. Alright, alright, yeah. Oh, it's poisoning me. Okay. Yeah. Wow, this is really high. Now what? That's it? That's all it does? Ouch. Okay. Wow, it, it actually does a ton of damage, considering the kind of armor that I've got on. Um, hey! Oh no, sludgelings! Sludgelings! Not a fan of sludgelings. How many of those vines have we got? 12. I probably want a few more than that. Just to get some health back here. Grab that. Yeah, you can even like, <laughs> you can even like put it above the entrance to your, to your house or whatever, back on the overworld and like, when your friends come to visit, they get stuck in the vine and... I mean, it's pretty easy to get out of it, but still, it's uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good troll plant. How much will I get? Uh, 
Uh, I don't know if this actually grows. If you plant it, if it if it grows longer and stuff like that, it probably does. But just in case it doesn't, I'll probably get like a full stack of this. Because there's a particular place where I think this would look good back in my base back on Earth. And uh, we are getting pretty close to heading back to Earth now because we've pretty much seen everything Mars has to offer. Uh, without just randomly exploring around the place. And my base is, is pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it. Apart from maybe the power generation side of it. We got a fair bit of this dash stuff as well. Did we pick that piece up? We got nine on this trip. So it was pretty cool. But yeah, in um in the very latest version of Galactic Craft, there's also um the meteorites that you can go to. Which is pretty cool. So I can't wait to try that newer version out. Let's get this dish over here as well. Beautiful. Yeah, they really light up the place pretty good, these things. Oh, look at all that dash. We might actually make some tools out of this as well, because I've got a fair bit of it now. Get out of it, zombie! What do you think you're doing? Uh, okay, we got 60. Let's just get a couple more. Oh, I thought that was a... Sludgelings. Stupid sludgelings. Okay, that should be... That should be the full stack of 64. Okay, now we just have to find our way out of here. Man, look how much of that sludge stuff is over here. Oh, hang on. What are those lights? They look like the stars. Uh, across here. Am I just imagining things, or are they just the the lights from the creepers? They did look like stars from a distance, but they're probably just more creeper vines. Some more dash over here. Hey, spider. Wait, get out of it. Oh my god, he's knocked me over. Where was my dash? I don't really want to fall into the sludge. Alright, anyway. The buggy is up in this direction. So, <laughs> we might be able to block jump our way to the ceiling. Sludgelings attacking again. Let's block jump our way up. They won't be able to get up here. Suckers. Let's just put a torch uh, there. And yeah. We will actually know. Need to put it like in the side of the shaft there. Okay. Let's do this. Keep going, we can do it. There we go, we're out. Woo! Still night time. Okay, there's my buggy over there. Let's just eat. And where is my base? This is the question. Buggy. Home. Over in that direction. Alright, we can do that. Let's go. Can't see any creepers, so that's good. Let's reverse. Turning. Oh, oh, there's a creeper right there. Do not want to get my buggy blown up like last time. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's go see what our energy production is like. Oh, 
Ooh, very nice. So these are all full, which is awesome. These all have energy. Let's go have a look at the, the um, resonant energy cells. These are actually getting energy. That's draining energy. This has got none, none left in it, but this, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. See, I think that this is going back, although it shouldn't, should it? Because it's not connected to the inputs. Those ones. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, like, wait a few days and see if it evens out or not. But, yeah. Oh, well. I love how those um, solar panels adjust to the angle of the sun and stuff like that. Uh, all right, well, we can fill these with oxygen again. I'll chuck all my stuff out of my inventory. How much dash did we find on this trip? 20 dash. <laughs> Sweet. It's the easiest way to get it, just going down in one of those cabins. So I'll chuck all of this stuff out. And put those in there as well. And uh, that is where we will leave this episode, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, did a bit of building, did a bit of exploring. Uh, lost a buggy again. But anyway, in the next episode, we will be heading back to Earth. And I'm kind of looking forward to getting back home to uh, to my main base back in the overworld. And, and uh, yeah. You know, seeing, checking on things, seeing how they're going, that they haven't been swept away by a tornado or anything like that. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Slippy Jim out.